They come out of the huddle and we're going to get underway very, very shortly. Great to see people watching on and enjoying looking out on this game, which is brought to you on Palace TV+. Plus. And it's a pleasure to be able to call the action. Palace kicking from left to right in this first half. The referee all in black and he is going to be the man who gets us underway very, very shortly. Because they're all looking at him like he picked up a back pass. No, it wasn't a back pass, was it? No, it was a loose uh, ball knocked forward. And now at the other end, there might be the chance for Victor. Keepers off the line. Get in. The keeper is a long way off his line. And there is the opening goal. And it's Crystal Palace who are celebrating 12 minutes in. And it's come from a very likely source. We know what a good goal poacher he is. And on the 12 minute mark, Crystal Palace have their noses in front. Well, I've got to say, the, the number five, is it um, <clears throat> Aaron O'Reilly? The big centre-back with his hands on his head there to the left of the screen. He goes for the first ball. Mola ducks. He gets his timing wrong and he misses it. And simply from that bounce, it just causes chaos in defence. If you've got a striker who's got pace like Victor, you're in trouble. 22 minutes gone. Palace leading Villa by a goal to nil. And the chance. That's a free kick. Surely he hasn't given the uh, foul. He went to ground there, Rodney. And I thought the referee might have reached for his whistle. He didn't. David Ozo's got it. Well done. Got themselves out of a bit of uh, getting into a sticky situation. Out of a sticky situation. Yeah. And work towards that wide left where there's the chance on the overlap here for Williams to keep the ball alive. He does get forward to good effect. Gets it back onto that trusty left foot. Can he work a crossing opportunity? He can into. Oh, penalty! It penalty has got to be, and it is given. Victor Akinwali leading the line. He scored one. Can he double Palace's advantage from 12 yards? He sends the goalkeeper Absolutely. the wrong way. A brilliant spot kick. And you can see what it means. He celebrates in style, just clenching the fist. Very confident penalty into the corner of the low. Victor's 19? 19 goals this season. Very good. Very good return. And hungry for more as well. He's not the kind of player who, you know, I've scored one. I'm, I'm quite happy. He's scored two. So now he knows that uh, there's a chance of me getting a hat-trick here. Shifted it onto that right foot. He's still got it. He's got plenty of trickery. Back onto the left side now and plays the ball in towards the edge penalty. of the six-yard box. And the referee has given a penalty. It looked a little bit soft, but you could see he was going to give it. Well, they've offered nothing in fairness, Aston Villa, as an attacking force. They've been very poor, but they could reduce the deficit here. Kobe Moore is going to step up. It's going to be a left-footed penalty. Straight down the middle, but he beats the goalkeeper, Laurie Shaler, who dived away to the right-hand side. And Villa have given themselves a lifeline here. Yeah. Moore making no mistake here. We'll just get the opportunity to see it again. A very languid run-up. Went just to the right of the ball and then a couple of mm. quick steps. Yeah. Any penalty that goes in is a good penalty. Just in from the touchline, has to try and hold it up and wait for a little bit of support. And he's got that now. And... Raymond has got it, and the chance just to go into a central position for Vigor, who works it towards that left-hand side. Williams has got it now. Oh, the chance to uh, go into a it's more it. central area and out towards that left-hand side it goes. Can there be a shooting opportunity? Drilled oh, across goal. And David Ozo, I think, has wrapped it against the crossbar. What, what an end to the first half that would have been. Here's Raymond with the corner, played in towards the near post this time, headed away from danger by Aston Villa. Back into the 18-yard oh. box it goes. Was that a push? No, says the referee, but Raymond has still got it. Cuts the ball back here, trying to pick out David Ozo, and there we are. The Aston Villa player plays it back into his path, and Jaden Raymond has the simple task of scoring the third goal for Crystal Palace and hopefully moving the team into what should prove an unassailable lead. Good pressure. Jaden taking the corner initially, uh, coming back to him. There you go. Cut out by the defender, just fortuitously drops for Jaden for a side foot uh, there's nothing defender can do about it he's just trying to block a square ball and once again pass two goal lead Alice have still got it David Ozo towards that right hand side for it's flooded Annie. it's flooded with white shirts so you've got to come away this is Mola. the one this way this way Mola tries to turn his man there was time and space on this left hand side Vigor goes out towards Cadogan on that right Cadogan with some trickery towards the dead ball line. Floats the ball across oh. goal and there's the fourth goal. He literally couldn't miss. It's a hat-trick for Victor Akinwali. It's a brilliant ball in. It couldn't have been any more clinical, that delivery. You can see building up. Look at Victor in the middle. Nobody's in him. But where are the two centre-backs? 
The left back has to come in and cover. So that means Vontae's free on the far post. Now he backs away, comes away. The left back doesn't watch him. And the two centre backs are, look, I mean, oh my goodness. Anyway, it's a, it's a great ball. It's a good, uh, it's a good header from Victor and uh, des a deserved hat trick. Well done. Well, Quinn's enjoyed an excellent Good play. season in charge. Nice little win back here from Williams. Yeah, he's, he's on the ball. Lost his balance. He wants a free kick. Williams plays the ball towards the edge of the 18 yard box. Mola's been intercepted. Well, he have got an effort in on goal. Slightly sooner decided against it. But there might be the chance now. And there it is. It's a five star <laughs> performance up. from Crystal Palace. And it's David Ozo who's the man who's able to profit. What can you say? Running riot here. Good play, Mola. Onto that right foot. Now hit it. Wants to use his left foot again. This is this is this is where I repeat myself with him. Um, does ever so well to recover, get up and sets up a good assist for David Ozzo. I mean, doesn't score many, does he? But um, he's properly delighted with that. When people are not in the right positions, it's difficult to keep the ball. Well done. Simple. Ball check. Played over towards right. that right hand side into the 18 yard box. Is this the goal Better. we've been waiting for? Yes, it is. Mola this time getting in on the act, scoring to make it six. Yeah, excellent. Good vision from Jade and Mola just pulling out, pulling out and just showing him where he wants the ball. He wants the ball playing forward. Jaden with the outside of his left foot puts a bit of check on it as well. So it sits up and doesn't run through to the keeper. Good first touch, clean, and then a tap in. They're moving the ball, Villa, in the hopes of scoring another consolation, and they've hit wow. the base of the post. Would you believe it? It was a snapshot. Hitting the base off the post. Well, the referee's got to be calling. How long is he AJ. playing? I don't know how long he's playing, but there it goes. The uh, full-time whistle. The answer. Very impressive from Crystal Palace. Victor Akinwali scoring a hat-trick, but the damage didn't end there. It's been an excellent performance from start to finish. And it's Crystal Palace who are celebrating.